That's what the Bible is about. It's about the revelation of God the Spirit, God the Son, God the Father, and they are one. And he came to make the human race one with him. To keep going the way we're going, we go around in circles. We go around in circles. It's not getting any better. And so keep on telling each other how bad we've been without telling them there is a savior. There is one that can redeem us. I have a dream that my fuller children will one day live in a land where they'll not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of its character. That was Christianity in its fullness. And I wanted to see my children live in that land, live up to our Constitution. That's what he tested that day. And he said, a bank of heaven is not bankrupt. And every time we go for that freedom, we get a blank check, insufficient fund. Boy, that day, that speech, I crossed the line. I crossed the line with my longing and my hope. The intentional multicultural church carrying out what Jesus told us to do, and He promised He would be with us. We need to be that one church. We got to do this together. I, I, I bring you good news. I got good news for the black church. I got good news for the white church. The good news is that we become one. That the world will know we belong to Jesus. They are singing a new song, a new song, a new song. That we are all here together. We made it. And if we get there, we're gonna to have to get there together. This is good news. I like it. I like it. I like it. The forgiveness of sin. That was central to his mission. They shall, he said this to Mary and Joseph, so they wouldn't miss it. They shall call his name. That's no accident. They shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. That was their longest longing. 